All right, checkers, what are we gonna draw today? Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. All right, dude, you got your marker? Yep. All right, cool. Let's do this. We're gonna draw Jack from the Jack the Pumpkin King from Nightmare Before Christmas, huh? Yeah. He is so cool. He is one of my favorite characters. It's kind of a Christmas uh, thing too. Christmas and it's Halloween. Like, yeah, a cross between Christmas and Halloween. All right, dude. So what what uh, shape does Jack have for a head? <laughs> a circle. Yeah, he does. He has a circle. Or sphere is 3D. Yeah, if it's 3D. So we're going to draw a circle right in the middle of the paper towards the top. Good job. Okay, now let's do his face. And we're going to do a big smile first. Okay, and then we can get his eyes in there in the right spot. So we're going to do a smile, and the smile goes around the bottom of, of the circle, and it touches on the sides. He has a big, big awesome. smile. Awesome. You did it. Yeah, he does. He has a huge smile. Okay, and then he's kind of, it looks like he has stitches or like a kind of skull teeth. So you can just draw lines that go across his smile. It already looks like him, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting there. All right. It looks like a baseball. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. Okay, now we're going to draw two ovals, and they're going to be tipped in. So draw them. We're going to tip the ovals so they look like they're kind of leaning in towards the top. And then on this side, we'll do the same, except it can be a little smaller because it's off to this side. Good job. He's got a pretty simple face, actually. And then we'll do a little line that comes down on that side. And we could do a little one, just a little one on this side. And then we're going to color in his eyes. So it looks like a skull. If, we're, if my dad's going too fast, you could always pause the video. Yes, good, good job. It's good to remind them about that every once in a while, huh? Um, how I got Sometimes to we say, do go way too fast. How, how, I got, how it reminded me to say that is because you're going too fast. Too fast for you? <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay, now let's get his nose in there. And his nose is just going to be two little, two little dots like that. Yes. And they kind of are like the ovals. They're tipped in towards the top. Cool. All right, we did it. We did his face. That's a cool, you could draw that any day, huh? Yeah. It's pretty easy. All right, should we do his body? Mm-hmm. All right, so first thing we're going to do after his head is draw his neck. And his neck is kind of long. And draw it so that the lines kind of come in towards the middle. Got it? Yeah, maybe a little longer. Okay. Good. And then the first thing we're going to do, we put a little thing on the end. And then we're going to do his, he's got kind of a bat for a tie. So we're going to do an M shape on both sides. Okay. And then we're going to do, got it? Or you could just draw an M right there. Then we're going to do his collar and it's kind of this curve, curve line on both sides. And then we're going to put a W on each side. So watch this. One. Yeah, like that. And then a W over here on this side. <laughs> <laughs> and you can make it kind of a tall W. I probably should have made it a little taller. But that's right. Okay. Now we're going to go back in to his collar on both sides. Good. And then we're going to do the, uh, his, the bottom of this. So I'm going to come in a little further and then draw a V. Good. Okay, now we're going to do a little eye shape in here on both sides. It's too little. Because it kind of looks like a bat right here on his collar. And then we can color this in. Should we go ahead and color it in? Mm -hmm. All right, we could speed this up too. Should we do that? Right now. 
All right, good job, man. Okay, now let's do his body, all right? So we're gonna do a curved line that's gonna come out and then down and S, so have an S curve. And we're gonna end up making, I think his legs a little short, but that's okay. We'll practice and we can get the maybe, proportions better. Maybe I can make that maybe just a little short. Yeah, you could do that if you want. And you know what, I'm gonna come out, well, no, I'm gonna leave it just like that. And then do a little S and you can make it a little shorter. So it's good. Okay, now on the other side, we're gonna do another line that comes through like this. So he's got a really skinny waist and we'll come back out because he has a, his suit kind of comes out behind him. So it comes out back in, almost looks like a vase that you were, you put flowers in. Yes, good job. Okay, now we're gonna do this shirt right here and we're gonna do a curved line on this side and a curved line over here. And then they come together. Good, okay, now let's do a little V that's gonna come up and back down. And this can just, it can kind of make a funny shape that comes down. And then we're gonna do a zigzag line back up like that. You can make it look jagged because it looks Yes, good job. Okay, now we're gonna color this in except for this middle part, right? Mm -hmm. Should we speed it up? Yes. Let's do it. Right now. <laughs> Almost got it, you did it. Good job, a little bit at the end. There you go. Okay, now let's do his legs, you ready? So his legs are really skinny. We're just gonna do a straight line that comes down and we can do another line right next to it to make it a little, his leg a little thicker. I'm gonna do another one. Good job. Okay, now let's do the other one right next to that one. Okay. Ah, oh, he's looking so cool, dude. And move, you can move your paper up just a little bit more so they can see it. Yeah, there you go. Good, keep going, color that leg in. All right, okay, so now we gotta do his feet. And his feet, we're going to just bring out a little curved line on the side right here, and a little curved line, so go up his leg a little bit, and then curve out, yes, okay. And then we'll put a little curve on the end, on both sides, and then curve back in, and you wanna leave a little, cause he's wearing, it kinda looks like he's wearing dress shoes, a little heel on the back. Kind of like SpongeBob shoes. Good job. Awesome. Perfect, man. You did it. Okay, what are we missing? Um, his hands. Yeah, we're missing his hands. So we're going to draw a, a, a V, kind of a line that comes out and then back in and come really close to his body, but don't go all the way. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a little thicker, watch this, a little thicker towards his body and then thin at his elbow and color that in. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same on this side. And you want him to be roughly the same side, same look the same on both sides of his body because he's symmetrical, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll wait for you, keep going. Good, come back in and then come up and we'll do the same. We'll get a little thicker towards his body and then thin at his elbow and color that in. And then do the same down here on this side. Start thin and then get a little thicker when you get towards his wrist and then color that in. So he's gonna have his hands on his hips. Oh, and did. then do it on this side too. Wait, did you do that without me? What? That? Yeah, I kinda, yeah, I kinda did. So get a little thicker 
I could probably do another one. There we go. Good job. Awesome, dude. Okay. All right. You ready for you ready for his hands? Yeah. Okay. First thing, we're gonna make these look like skeleton hands. We're gonna do a curved line on both sides. This is gonna be for his thumb. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're gonna do a, a line that comes connects his wrist to his waist. Good. Okay. And then we'll do another little bump off here for his thumb and then we're gonna come back and you can connect it back into that line good job okay we got his thumb in now let's do his fingers so we're gonna come down and then back out come down and back out good okay and then we'll do the same Curl and then back in. So you kind of do like a little oval back into the line. Good. And then we'll do another, just a little one right on the end. Good. And then we can do the same down here. Put another finger in there. Good. And then you can just kind of connect it back into his body. So it looks like he's got that. that Maybe that was a little hard for our art friends to see, but you just draw little ovals for his fingertips and then that should be good. And then you just kind of connect it into his body. Whoa, dude, look at that, man. You drew one awesome Jack the Pumpkin King. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing uh, Jack the Pumpkin King with us. He's all smiles because his real name is actually Jack. It's not Chuckers. Yeah. That's just your nickname, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, dude, what day is it today? Friday. It's Friday, and that means it's the last day for our 7 to 12 year old age group in our fall art contest, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so if you haven't had a chance to do that yet, be sure to draw a cool fall or autumn picture. Take a photo of it. Ask your parents if you need help and post it to Instagram and tag us. And we'll, we're gonna judge those over the weekend, huh? Yeah. We're gonna have a lot of fun looking at all of your art and picking our favorite one. And that will announce that winner on Monday. Cool? Yeah. Should we say goodbye to our art friends? Bye, art friends. <laughs> See you later, art friends. Bye. Goodbye. I am Jack. No, you're not. Yes, I know. You're checkers. Woo!